What's going on today everybody? I have a very special episode, I'm gonna rewrite a cold email. I haven't done this in almost a year I think, so this will be a great one. And the email is about application development services I received. It's in my spam folder, so I'm gonna point out what was great about the email and what was not great about the email. I received these emails a, a lot, and so let's go ahead and rewrite this email and help out this company. First thing I'm looking at when I receive this email, it's in the spam folder. Obviously, this means that this email was sent um, through an automation tool, otherwise this wouldn't be the case. And I can see it's not um, probably customized for me because the email sounds like it can be sent to everybody and this is something I warn about, always pick a niche, always be custom and have a very clear value proposition for the customer. This has none of these things. They don't include my first name even, so that means they don't even have me in the database because I received this email on the generic company info email. That means they only scraped the company's email, they haven't even looked at the website, but they haven't even found the name of the website, which is even worse. At least they could say, hey, team in sales academy or something like that. One thing, uh, I'm going to go through email later. I'm just looking at the signature. It doesn't look great because there are no links. So if I want to ver verify the claims here, I don't see uh, through my reported plugin, the LinkedIn profile of this person. But what I do see is the domain. So let's check out the website from the branding perspective. This is how I would react this if I would receive the email. I, first, I want to know, is this a real person or a real company? It seems that the company is real. I'm not sure about the person. So it says, meet a award winning team that delivers successful so solutions for business and life. That's very vague. I have no idea what this means, right? Successful so solutions for life and business. All right. Um, and then you can see what do we offer, right? So you have solutions services industries okay i get it so these guys are building software tools great why don't they say it here <laughs> i don't know this person doesn't seem real to me this picture but it can be yo so whenever you see a testimonial like this where they use uh, words like uh communication was fantastic the team is highly knowledgeable stress-free seamless problem solving positive attitude competitive rates nobody gives testimonials like that they would say something like uh because of working with them we're able to deploy our product much sooner to the market that's a testimonial not it was great to work with them that's not a testimonial that's just noises and this person doesn't seem real because a vp of product development. let's just go on linkedin yeah i can't find him I don't think this person is real, whatever. Uh, awards, all right. Here's the issue. I only see contact us, a weird email address. I have no idea about the team because you say 350 people. There's no about team or about us section. So I don't have a place to verify that. Your locations are not clickable. I can't click here. So obviously you're from India, but I can't find where where are you located or your official name on this thing i see technologies nothing these are just tech these are just text so there's no links here so the only thing you have is this random landing page um it's which is very weird and so if i click on get a free quote what happens nothing happens request free consultation nothing happens so this all of this is a big red flag to me this company is either non-existent or trying outbound weirdly but now let's get to the email so this is what i'm always saying that branding is important well because of this even if this cold email would be perfect it would talk about my needs it would be very custom and everything i would still go here and check it out and if if the company's website looks looks like this um uh, then i'm not gonna even respond let's rewrite the email subject line Application development services, a big red flag. You can't use that subject line, obviously. You have to come up with something that I'm gonna open. This is not gonna be opened. Uh, so uh, I would stick to in name of the company, in Sales Academy and uh, what's this company name? Uh, Vidnet Labs, Vidnet Labs. This, I would open this. Okay, this would give this would get at least 50% open rate. Cool, we got it. Let's go, let's move on. So, beginning, obviously, you wanna use my first name, so, Hayan, good. Hope you're having a great day. It's a useless sentence. You 
have to get to the point because I can see the sentence in my Gmail if I would click here and uh, you have to get to this to the to the thing so that's a very bad sentence now another thing which is very tough is saying would you be interested in building an app for your business so essentially you're starting a relationship with somebody who you don't know by asking them a question that should be asked at the end this is a closing question where you have done your needs analysis you got them on the call you find out what they need and then you say hey do you want to build an app and then maybe i'll say yes if you start a relationship like that it's not going to be a good thing so the entire sentence is bad we're a professional mobile app development agency does that need to be here again i wouldn't use this i would probably rephrase this to who am i who are you amanda or anna I don't think you're real, but let's say you are, so uh, you could say I'm Anna from uh, you could say I run marketing at VD Net Labs and uh, which is a mobile app agency. This is how I would rephrase this sentence. Again, going further, we have 100 plus team of iOS and Android developers. This is irrelevant because you don't know if I want to build a mobile app or what, what exactly do I want to do. So it doesn't make sense and develop 250 mo native mobile apps till now. Uh, all right, let's keep this here. This is again irrelevant. We will give we will give special discount at this Christmas time. This is even worse because first of all, you're missing a dot. How can you miss a dot? Uh, nobody words a sentence like this. I can clearly see this is from India. We we will give special discount. Why are you saying special discount with capital? Okay. Uh, so you're you're going there strictly asking for a discount. Completely wrong. Please do share your thoughts. I look forward to speaking with you. Cool. I can keep the last sentence. That's that's kind of cool. And we can keep this. Basically, there's nothing here that we can use. So let's create something. So how are we going to start a relationship? Let's imagine for a second that I do need a mobile app, maybe. And um, my agency is kind of bigger. So we have like 50 people. Here's how I would start the email. This is an ideal process, but obviously you can't do this for everybody. So I came across in the sales academy on Clutch where we are listed. And uh, so I came across in Sales Academy Clutch and I noticed that you help software companies from Europe execute and optimize various B2B marketing campaigns. Sounds good? Sounds great. So then you need to introduce yourself, right? So who are you? Hey, I'm running marketing at VD Dent Labs, which is a mobile app agency. And now you need to tell me something about your, your, your past case or something that's a reason to meet. And we currently so there's a value proposition. Now the, we have a good value proposition at this moment. So I'm reaching out because we currently build a custom software, custom workflow management and database software for a similar marketing agency, which allow them to keep all of their client work in one place while saving around 30K annually compared to the years before. Sounds good. Sounds good. That's a reason to do, to do business. <laughs> to this day, we work on more than 600 projects. Um, and I was wondering, Cool. What are we doing here? So after the value proposition, uh, you need a call to action or something like, what do you want from me? Right? So you can build your credentials by saying, Hey, to this day, we worked on more than 600 projects. And I was wondering if you'd be up for a, for a quick meeting. You want to use these things, quick meeting with me, uh, before Christmas, where I can share with you some details from, uh, this project and learn more about the Intel's Academy. Let me know if you're interested and I'll send over my calendar. Thanks and regards, Anna. Boom. This makes sense. Why? You're building credibility here. You're asking me for a quick meeting before Christmas, but why? So you can share with me some details from the project. So I'm getting value because I'm gonna learn how you actually build that for another agency and if it's even relevant to me because I am experiencing this problem. So your value proposition must talk about a problem or a goal of the company. And so if you're going after a similar agency at a similar size, we probably have all the same problems, right? So we have a ton of clients, we need to manage them in some space and it's a, it's a ton of hassle. So 
this this would uh, strike chord with me and my company um and then yeah you can ask me qualifying questions and sales and stuff like that let me know if you're interested i'll send over my calendar don't ask me for a call at the moment but just if i'm interested or not better call to action would be hey i'm gonna be in prague next week i would love to have one uh I'm, i would love to catch coffee with you or grab a lunch with you how about that i will just say yes because that's much more personal and uh that's much more of a reason to meet because you're coming here, right? You're not from here. Or, hey, there's a trade show and I saw you're, you're gonna be at the trade show next week. Would love to meet with you there. So there's so many call to actions to use. If you just wanna do this through Google Hangouts or Skype calls, this is what I would suggest. This email would be then sent and the only thing I would automate, I would customize is this. So this body of the email is the same, this, is the same you would just replace this with a placeholder for a company name so in sales academy boom uh otherwise yeah so this would say company filter and this would say snippet one or like opening line and you could say hey, come across any you could then target any agency in the world between the size of 10 to 50 that's doing b2b marketing let's say like me where you have a use case from that similar space and target all of them and say, hey, came across you on Clutch and I saw that you help automotive companies build um, apps. <laughs> I don't know, not, that's not a great example. I saw that you help uh, with influencer marketing uh, to some of the top brands in the UK or something, right? It's all the same because we're all doing campaigns for clients. So the problems you're solving with your tool are all the same. You're trying to keep it all in one place and saving money annually on the tedious tasks so this is a clear value proposition it's not about making money it's about saving money but at this stage the companies are thinking about this problem and uh, i would really you know want it want to save a couple of thousands of dollars so value proposition call to action goodbye the end i would agree to this so guys take this as it goes hopefully you have learned something leave me a comment about how would you rewrite this email what do you think i did good what do you think i did wrong I have not prepared, so this was a freestyle, but I would love to hear your thoughts. I know this was a long thing, so if you enjoyed this episode, let me know because I can do them every week. If you don't like this and this gets no engagement, no likes, no nothing, I'm not going to make them anymore. But this is super practical and sometimes people are like, you talk a lot about strategy and high level stuff. Well, because they are the most important, but to get to the ground, this is like, this is what I'm talking about. So you can now clearly see what I'm talking about. <laughs> So hopefully this helps um, and I'll see you next time. Go to intelsacademy.com. <laughs> see ya.